Oh, good evening. Welcome to the sports segment here on News 360 with me, Juliet Bewa. To our very first story, and Ashanti Gold and Inter allies will next season play Division Two football after a GFA ruling into match-fixing allegations against the two teams. Of the two, Ashgold currently play in the Ghana Premier League, while Inter allies are in the Division One league. Here is Thierry Nyan with a Three Sports Dex report. In a bombshell that shook the country, two Ghana Premier League teams were reportedly involved in a staggering match-fixing scandal. Ex-Ashanti Gold player Hashmin Musa scored two own goals in the Ghana Premier League match against Inter Allies in protest of the alleged match manipulation last season. We are here at the headquarters of the Ghana Football Association where we've had no officials to speak to. But early on as well, we were at the Inter Allies' office in Accra where officials say they will speak on the matter at an appropriate time, although they seemed uh, seemingly calm for now. Inter Allies are already struggling in the Division 1 this season, hanging on for their dear lives. But that fight gets even more intense with a ban on the club. The Ghana Football Association ruling on Monday says Inter Allies have been fined 100,000 Ghana cities and demoted to the third tier of Ghana football. Ashanti Gold also suffered the same fate. Some individuals of both clubs have been banned as well. Ashanti Gold president Dr. Kweku Frimpon was given a 10-year ban and fined 100,000 Ghana cities, while his son, Emmanuel Frimpon, the club's chief executive, also got a, an 8-year ban and a fine of 50,000 Ghana cities. Yeah. However, Musa was banned for two years, but his sanction was reduced to six months for his role in unraveling the fixed match. Four other men, their respective head coaches and team managers from both clubs, were all banned for two years. 14 Ashanti Gold players were handed suspensions ranging between two years and four years, and the club's sporting director was also given a four-year ban. As well as Musa, a further 11 Inter Allies players and their goalkeeping coach were suspended for between two and three years. The suspensions will serve as a huge deterrent to Ghana Premier League stakeholders with the Ghana Football Association sticking the rules right in the faces of clubs, players and officials. The implications are dire and the communication to everyone involved in Ghana football is to stay off match manipulation. Now, still on this, our reporters have been in Obwasi today to capture their mood around the town after the ruling by the Ghana Football Association to demote Ashanti Good. It was a sobering atmosphere there with fans of the club unhappy at the decision by the GFA. Ashanti Gold supporters thrown to the Lane Clay Stadium after the news of their demotion was reported across various media outlets to demand clarification from the club's management. For the Irish fans, their struggles to sustain this club over the years cannot go down the drain. I hope it is not true. I will be sad if it's true. Now, now it's just I am very sad. Ashanti Gold is going to play Division 2. This club was formed by workers of the company and not the company herself. This team brought joy and increased productivity. We cannot agree to play in Division 2. We will fight with an appeal. Betting is a menace in the local league. And it is as gold that has been caught. If it is true what is being reported, then Black Sherry's song stands. Division 2, dear Massa, I know a day. Champion, and I go born the first match, and I will be trying to better. Fine. Come on, band the champion. I want to be a naked team there. Can I be a one? I am the team now for a champion. And come in and tell you. The number of fans present increased by the hours as they were clad in the club's colors and red to express their displeasure with the ongoing situation. The police therefore had to be called in to restore calm. We have information that the fans are destroying things at the stadium. It's our duty to protect life and property. We came here on command, but there's no violence. Three sports sources within the club confirms that an appeal has been filed 
after consultation with the Asgold legal team. The club will now focus on honoring the Ghana Premier League match against Asante Kotoko on Thursday in Obwasi. Now, still staying on this, and veteran sports journalist, that is Carl Tufo, has commended the disciplinary committee of the Ghana Football Association for their decision. It's a beginning. Clubs will now begin to realize that there is a disciplinary committee that can bite. But remember, again, we'll have to go through the whole process. And the process starts with the findings of the DC. Then, if the club is not happy, it will go to the AC, the appeals committee. And if it's not happy, it can decide to go to court for arbitration for sports. But in some cases, as he's just shown, they've rather gone to our legal system, the courts in Ghana. And sometimes the courts have thrown findings out, and then now we find ourselves in a dilemma. If you remember Kim Faisal, uh, 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 people sending the case to court, and then injunction, injunction. And the injunction can go on forever, and then your league becomes suspended. You're supposed to be developing players for a national team. You ain't having any league going on. So you can see the ramifications that occur when such a thing happens. All I'm praying is that Osei Kojo Ado and his team have made sure they've taken the right decision. That can stand the test of time with an appeal and as well as a court for arbitration, let alone a court of competent jurisdiction.